Chamberlain, Namath, Koufax, all names synonymous with the growth of a sport. Our next guest name is at the top of the list for the sport of skiing. In an era when ski racers were the rock stars and all the other skiers were parking cars in the ski lot and washing dishes in the restaurant, he and a few of his buddies like Scott Schmidt and Glenn Plake laid the groundwork for park, pipe, rail, slope style and the big mountain skiing of today. Tanner, Simon, Kobe and the stars of today owe a great debt of gratitude to our next guest as his tracks were the first. Part rebel, part founder, part godfather, the true nexus of where art met sport. The star of Blizzard of Oz, he's on the show, Mike Hatrip. Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks, Zeke. Thanks for having me. It's mind blowing where skiing's at now. I stopped saying a few years ago that that will never be done. I was about ready to do five years in prison, so I needed to get out of the country. <laughs> I'd like to go snowboarding with Jesus. You got one shot, third run, everything's on the line. A couple pull taps, you drop in, and I mean, I, I got the black zone. You know, I, I don't remember anything. I was pretty much in an MRI machine the entire day. It was heartbreaking, you know, thinking that you wouldn't ski again. And all I wanted to do was be a dishwasher in Jackson Hole and ride that mountain every day. Wow. <laughs> if we open the door a little bit to this world, they blew it off the hinges. It's, it's a different game now. So uh, let's talk, uh, you know, growing up, Seattle area for you. That was yeah. when you got into skiing. Yeah. What was your first ski experiences like? Driving up in the station wagon, listening to 8-track tapes, uh, going to Alpental. At what age yeah. did you start to realize, though, that you had some, some serious skiing skills? I mean, I, I liked skiing from day one. I enjoyed it. And I, you know, I, I was older. I was 11 years old. Mm -hmm. um, I guess it probably wasn't until I, I joined a freestyle camp and, okay. uh, and, and started competing the next year and did well in the contest. And what was freestyle like? Uh, during that time, during the during those days, and it was much bigger than than the racing in terms of what you saw at, at the hill. Mm -hmm. You know, there was jumps and people were jumping and people were skiing moguls, and so it was. Uh, that, that was that, that that's definitely what caught my eye. What what attracted me to it. And then uh, you became like one of the greatest mogul skiers, uh, the Goon Squad. Goon Is it, Squad. What what was the Goon Squad about? Goon Squad was just, uh, you know, a group of buddies that we skied, that skied together and snuck movies together and snuck concerts and... Um, snuck as in snuck in? <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that was really a sport, a sport in itself for us is trying to sneak into different shows. So I don't even remember what, the, what band it was because it didn't matter so much as, as, as the sneak. Yeah. But yeah, we... Uh, one person would go up to the ticket window and say, hi, I'm Jim Thompson, I should have some tickets here. And they'd go, oh, sorry, no Jim Thompson. But you would see that there was a Tom Patterson with the four there. Yep. So you'd go tell your buddy Tom Patterson four, <laughs> and he'd come back and go, yeah, I'm Tom Patterson, I should have four tickets here. And, and like I said, that one time we got, we got so good at getting in the back door of this place that we sold Tom Patterson's tickets and that was the went beer in the money back then. door. Exactly. <laughs> That's great. Uh, okay, so let's get into, uh, you know, your, your first film appearances. What was your first ski film appearance? First one was uh, Time Waits for Snowman with Stump. Cool. And what was it like working with Stump back then? Did you kind of realize, you know, that he had a different take on, on the ski film at that time? Was it as developed as we see in Blizzard of Oz, or was he still working out his creative uh, well, view? This, this was the second movie, and I and, and the, Where the Droids You're Looking For was the first, and it wasn't really till Blizzard that, I mean, Blizzard, I think, brought it to a whole different level. Yeah. So when, when did that start to come together? G give us a setup of Blizzard of Oz. Uh, uh, you know, did he call you up and say, this is the new one? Uh, kind of set up the scene for us. Blizzard, Stump wanted to change things up, too, and so he got... Um, that's, he got Schmidt involved, and, and Schmidt was, of course, the, one of the highlights of the Warren Mill movies back then. Yeah. And so he got Schmidt involved, and it was me and Lynn Weilen, and we all went to Chamonix. Um, and Lynn got hurt, so that's when, that's when Plake Wow, I didn't Plake even know that. In. So Plake only comes in because of injury. 
Yeah, on that one. Well, it's it's funny. Um, Plake. When when Plake first shot with Stump, it was in it was in Squaw. And I, I don't think I don't know why why he wasn't going to Europe then. I think Greg just had three tickets and. So maybe that uh, part of the film where it uh, Stump sets it up sort of like a competition. It's more that was more of a setup. That was more of a setup. I don't I don't think there was really uh, much of a competition there. Okay. Um, no. At least it wasn't. I don't think in any of the skiers' eyes. Maybe Stump was thinking that, but I don't think I don't think Greg was either. It was more let's go shoot these guys. They're great skiers, and uh, and Stump didn't know. I don't think what Glenn was capable of at that point. Huh. So I think it was an eye opener for for Greg, and he goes, "Okay, this guy's great on film. Let's let's yeah. bring him to Chamonix." Okay. All right. Well, well, we'll move to Chamonix when we come back. And we'll talk, you know, the filming of Blizzard of Oz. One of the stars right here, Mike Hattrip, legendary skier. I'm Zeke Hattrip. It's Moguls. And drug him from California to, <laughs> to, to Colorado. And he goes, they were about this big by the time we got there. Kind of like the wedding bottle of yeah. cans. <laughs>